हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज जिमी सिंह ब्रोकर ओनर ऑफ सुपरमैक्स रियलिटी सिक्स फोर सेवन नाइन सिक्स वन टू सिक्स थ्री नाइन वेलकम टू माय चैनल रियल स्टेट एज विद जिमी सिंह इन टुडेज वीडियो आई लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट अ कॉमन क्वेश्चन अ लॉट ऑफ माय इन्वेस्टर लैंडलॉर्ड क्लाइंट्स आस्क मी दैट दे आर प्लानिंग टू सेल द रेंटल प्रॉपर्टी and can they evict the tenants and how can they provide vacant possession of the property to the purchasers so folks first thing you have to understand is under the residential tenancy act section 49 allows a seller to do so provided the you know the purchaser is buying the property in a good faith and he is requiring the property for the residential occupancy either for himself his spouse his kids his parents or a caregiver it can be even purchaser's you know spouse as well right so first thing you have to understand is the form for that notification is form n12 you can just google it and make sure the date on the termination specified in the notice of termination must be at least 60 days after the notice is given because if you don't comply with this then this notice become void and you have to require a fresh notice through residential tenancy act and it can delay or nullify your closing because you are at the breach of the contract so let me clarify what 60 days means for example if your agreement of sale and purchase you entered example 3rd march 2022 so the effective date of termination as per the notice should be 60 days from such notice right which will take you to the may 3rd but it has to be the end of the month that's what the law says right so the effective date must be the last date of that month so if 60 days fall on 3rd of may but as per the law it has to be 31st may the tenant has to be out right so that is very very critical guys and most of the times the the landlord tenant board uh, you know they examine the substance and the facts to ter- determine if the section 49 is properly followed and is there any genuine intention on be- you know on behalf of the buyer to occupy the unit and obviously uh, you have to go to the lawyer at the closing and you have to you know us uh, sign some sort of affidavit sworn under oath that you know section 72 is taken care meaning the buyer is certifying that he is buying in a good faith and he required the possession for the personal use so again i hope uh, it clarifies some of your questions uh, for your personal landlord tenant issues kindly call experienced lawyer or paralegal since I'm a real estate broker so I can't give you a consultation which is legal in nature. I hope you like the video or if you're a landlord or a home seller looking to sell your property anywhere in Greater Toronto area, Golden Horseshoe, Hamilton, Kitchener Waterloo, London, Sarnia, Chatham, Windsor, give our knowledgeable Supermax Realty team a call. Or if you're a first time visitor to my channel, please click subscribe for my upcoming notifications for new videos or if you like this video you can smash the like button talk to you guys soon god bless you all